totally sure if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try this Eoli, Eole flying machine. How do you pronounce that? Someone in. Someone tell me in the comments down below how to pronounce that. Of course we don't have a visibility hole for him to look out of. Uh, this is not Eole, Eoli, this is Madeline. But we're still gonna try to hopefully take this thing out for a flight. I have no idea how this is gonna work. I haven't used a propeller in this configuration for a while, but it looks like we're getting acceleration, so that's at least starting on a positive note. And just like that, it's it's in the air. <laughs> well, to be honest, I kind of was guessing this thing would fly because we have enough thrust. But this thing is god awful ugly. <laughs> it is hideous. Well, let's see how it performs at least. We like to do these types of things. Okay, needs more oomph on the roll. Definitely needs more oomph on the roll, so give me that as my roll. And see if we can combat this extremely powerful pitch that we have going on here. And this thing actually flies pretty well. I am surprised. I can probably dedicate more of these here to roll control and just leave the main one there. Oh, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Oh my god. It is airborne. It is magnificent. It is beautiful. It is a thing of nightmares. <laughs> But you know what? It's flying, and it's flying almost better than a lot of my experimental aircrafts. So one would have to give it up to some of the designers of the days of your... <laughs> this, this is Adler. I, I don't think I'm pronouncing his name right. I should probably look that up. And they don't tell you how to pronounce his name. Well, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. But anyhow... Adler, we're just gonna have to call him at well, it's not even Adler, it's it's Adder. Adder? <laughs> Butchering his poor name. But he designed this magnificent beast. It was a steam-powered aircraft, and it was supposed to, you know, supposedly he had some flights that were successful, but um I think his last one crashed, and so things didn't go exceptionally well for him. But we have almost crashed ourselves. But here we are, flying his magnificent beast. It's not steam powered, it is totally liquid fuel powered. But here it is, it is flying, it is magnificent, it is a thing of absolute, not my dreams, not my dreams at all. It is flying like a dream, but other than that, it is not, <laughs> it is not a thing of beauty to be 100% honest, but it has some fantastic maneuvering capabilities. This is only using uh, stock and also using Airplanes Plus because I needed a giant propeller that does not come in stock. And this is flying really well. I have to give it that, I have to give it some credit. This is actually really well done. So. Well, I think if he would have had the proper engine, instead of trying to go steam powered, uh, if he would have had the proper engine, this would have worked fantastically, somewhat fantastically, enough, well enough, um, he probably would have needed a bit more yaw control, but I'm pretty sure he had an idea on how to correct that. So what we need to do is see if we can land this is going to be interesting. Okay, so we're going to take it out a bit. And we are going to then come back and try to land it. This thing definitely wins one of my Kerbal Awards for design. Ooh. Ooh. It's like a truck with wings and a huge propeller on the front. Now, in order to get the, my propeller to work, I had to lower, I had to lift my rear wheels because my rear wheels were actually uh, 
too low. This thing is basically a very low powered glider, but it's working fantastically. Yes, there are power gliders. Uh, but we're gonna see if we can swing this around. Come on. Imagine seeing this over the battlefield. That would not work. Everybody would probably bust out laughing. <laughs> like, what is that? What are you flying, dude? Land that, please. As they just start throwing rocks at you. Okay. We're gonna hopefully land this bird. We're gonna swing this in tight. And we're gonna kill our thrust. And we're just gonna hopefully careen on in for a nice gentle landing that our Kerbal totally cannot see. But he'd be totally okay with this. All right, here we go. Oh, what? And look at that. Look at that. It landed like there is no problem. And mind you, I am using the keyboard and mouse for that. What? That's amazing. Okay, well, this is this is what I this is my take on it. The airplane is really hard to design in the game. Um it is there's so many schematics but i couldn't really find a good one so i found one that was mostly there and had two separate designs so i kind of used what would work from each one and tried to match it up to the first one um but i feel like i didn't have the bat wing all the way down but the other one wasn't a bat wing it was more of a swan wing and so i went with that one i liked the design better it's more beautiful um, but yeah, this normally would have a hole here for him to look out of, uh, which of course we don't have, we don't do circles in Kerbal Space Program very well. We don't do circles very well. So anyhow, that being said, this is, I suppose, my fake fins for the steam engine. I really don't have good specs on this one. But the thing is, the design works. This is the structural design of it, and it works. And I like it. So if you like what you've seen, hit that like button, drop me in the comment, let me know what you think. Find all the information you can on this airplane and see what we can come up with together because I think it's rather fantastic. I, I, I mean, this is around the time where people were trying to flap their wings on their aircraft to actually get flight. This one did not, and it flew. So they say, I need more information on this. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I think, I think that flew rather fantastic.